Azimio Lamoa won Kenya coalition presidential candidate Trailer Odinga and his running mate Martha Karu a lead in the latest poll at 42% while Kenya Kwanza presidential candidate William Ruto and his running mate Rigathi Kakagu a follow at 38%. Rayla is rising to the top after declaring Maths Karua as his running mate. Karua is bringing in not only the Mount Kenya support but also the women vote. A lot of women across the country may vote in Rayla Odingo as the C. Karua as a through pass to liberate women to the top positions in the country. Some political analysts have stated that Trigathi Gakagu is affecting the Ruto both by the corruption allegations tainting his name. However, he has defended himself severally saying that it is being used to fight him politically. Infodrac Research CEO Angelo Ambitho said, What we see in this research is that the naming of the running mates had a great impact on the popularity of the candidates in some regions. The poll said Rayla would garner 9.3 million votes and DP William Ruto 8.4 million votes. Only 2% said they are not going to vote. So what we then said is, let us assume for now that the 22.2 million are voting. Okay? Let's just assume that. Yeah? If those 22.2 million are voting, you just take 42%. And it gives you 9.3 odd. Then you take 38, it gives you 8.4 million for Ruto. Then you take undecided and refuse to answer, which is 12 plus 8, which is 20% which comes to 4.4. So if you add all those, then you get 22.2. We have not gone to the detail of looking at voter turnout in its entirety because I think that will become clearer as we get to, say, 30 days to election. Yeah? Because right now, there's still... Uh, people are still making up their minds. Yeah? So we're just saying all factors left constant. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, Dickens. No. No. Yes, there's a possibility of a rerun, but <laughs> they also have 4.4 million votes. There are 4.4 million. Listen. Can we agree on one thing? We are saying everything, we are leaving all factors constant. If we leave all factors constant, we have a, a port of 22.2 million voters. Right? Of these 22.2 million voters, if we say all of them went to the ballot, 42% today are clear that they are going to vote for Ryla. That would result in 9.3 million votes. 38% are clear that they will vote for Ruto, that is 8.4 million votes. The 4.4 million who are the 20% undecided voters are not going to sit at home. They are going to vote on in August. Yeah. So when they vote in August, that 4.4 million will either go either go to Ruto or will go to Raila. Whoever is able to convince the 4.4 million, which constitutes 25% of women who have said they are not voting, almost 25% of youth who, not, who are not decided, not that they are not voting, youth who are undecided right now, we have very high undecided, let me tell you where, by region. Eh? Then you will see that 50 plus 1 is attainable. Uh, In Nyanza, you have 15% undecided. Who will get that? You can translate to whatever the millions are. In Nairobi, we have 18% undecided. At the coast, we have 22% undecided. In Northern, we have 19%. In Western, we have 23% undecided. In the mountain region, we have 20% undecided. In Lower Eastern, we have 21% undecided. We have in South Rift 15% undecided, North Rift 23% undecided. The total, therefore, is 20% undecided, right? Whoever can convince that 20% undecided vote to get to 50 plus one person wins. So as we speak, 
it's not necessary to have a runoff if you can convince the undecided voters. Is, is that clear? Yeah. And then this. Mom.